Yo, what's good everyone? Nick Smith is back. Welcome to another episode of the New York Knicks My GM series. In the last episode, we lost to the Chicago Bulls. Uh, it was a solid game. Carmelo Anthony, he played really, really well. 27 points, 8 assists. He went 50% from the field. I didn't really shoot too well from downtown with Melo, but I mean, what I really like about his game, he got 8 assists. That's awesome for, you know, Melo. Um, it was unfortunate that we couldn't get a shot off at the last minute or the last, you know, couple seconds to uh, tie the game up, but it's all good. Uh, Porzingis, he played alright, 19 points with 7 rebounds and 4 blocks. I don't know what his block is. Let's actually have a look at his block. Um, where's his block rating? His block is at a 74. He was blocking everything. He blocked 4 shots. Three of them were Derrick Rose's, like, layup, so he was going off on Derrick Rose. He really wanted to block the hell out of Derrick Rose, which was pretty good. Um, Aflalo, 11 points, 50% from uh, the field. One for six from downtown wasn't too good, so our three-point percentage isn't looking that good. Um, the main thing that I had a problem with with our team is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six players on our whole team scored. We have some serious scoring, um, like, we, we can't score. Like, I don't know, we just, I mean, it's not that I wasn't really shooting with these guys, I mean, I wasn't really shooting with these guys, but like, that's because I don't want to shoot with any of these guys. N none of these guys are that good at shooting that uh, I want to really shoot when I have these guys on the court that actually, you know, made some shots. So, that's our main problem. We need to get guys that can score on our team. Because if we look at the Bulls, they had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. They had 9 players on their roster that scored. The guys that didn't score were the guys that didn't play. So, we got to fix that. Because we had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 guys that played, but they didn't score. So we need to get some guys that can score on the squad. And I'm actually going to have to do Agent Zero's challenge video in this episode because um, if you guys didn't know, Agent was on the channel um, two episodes ago. And he, um, yeah, I have to do his challenge. So, I mean, let's just get on with the video. The challenge should be really... Oh, what the hell? Why is somebody calling me right as I'm making this video? Are you kidding me, Nat? All right, so... <laughs> Yeah, let's just uh, answer the phone. Hello? Oh, yes. Hello, Alan Iverson. Yeah, what's good, man? Yeah, sure, sure. I've, I've got plenty of time, yeah. All right, so I've got a couple questions to ask you, man, and I want you to answer them as truthfully as possible. The first question, it's going to be a tough question, um, but would you be willing to join our team, um, but your role might be... Um, not as heavy as what you were used to, obviously, in the 76ers and in Denver. You had a pretty big role, starting point guard, franchise player. Here at the New York Knicks, we just need a veteran like you to come off the bench, get some points up, and help us win games. What are your thoughts about coming off the bench to help us win? Everybody make a big deal out of the coming off the bench thing. You know, it, it was never even an issue until it happened in Detroit. Nobody ever talked about me coming off the bench until the situation happened in Detroit and then that put it in people's minds, you know, and, and, and gave them something to, to think about and something to talk about. Alright, that that's awesome man, cause uh yeah, we definitely need a spark to come off the bench. Now, we have a pretty young team at the moment, um, and what are your thoughts about us tanking less? Because the last couple of years, uh the the GM before me, uh he wanted to tank and try to uh try and get all these good draft picks, but my vision as the GM of the Knicks is to uh, win a championship sooner rather than later, um, and obviously I think that you'd enjoy that uh, more than anyone else. Obviously, I have to ask you though, um, do you like my vision as the GM, um, the way that we are planning to run this team? You know, honestly, I just, I want to win, and I want to I want to contribute. I want to be a, 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 a part of some type of success. You know, whether it's on a championship team or if it's on a, a team that's on a on a uprise. But um, with me signing with somebody, I want it to be with somebody that's dedicated to trying to win a championship. And, uh, you know, I, I have a lot of things on my resume. I've done a lot of things in my career. But 
it's just that one missing piece, you know, that, that one missing piece um, to my resume, and, and that's a championship. And uh, at this point in my career, you know, that should be the only thing that's important to me, and that's the only thing that is important. Well, that, that's great, man, because that's, that's exactly what we need. We need somebody like you to be dedicated to the team and really wants to win. But, uh, yeah, I've got another pretty important question, and answer this as truthfully as you can. I have to ask you this, but can you still play? Do you have the ability to play at top-level NBA? Um, I know the last couple of years you have been playing in Turkey, uh, but can you still play NBA basketball? I wouldn't do that to myself. I wouldn't do that to the, to the franchise that invested in me. I wouldn't embarrass myself like that. So that's the the beauty of this whole thing is is the fact that um, I get to show that I can go at a high level. So let's just say if we gave you a contract to join the New York Knicks franchise, what do you expect your role to be? I mean. Because I asked you this at the start, but I have to know, do you see yourself as a starter on this team? Do you see yourself as a bench player? What, what do you vision your role being on this team? All I want to do is play. You know, um, from my experience in basketball, no guy was given a job in training camp anyway. You know, you had to go, you got to earn it anyway. I don't want nobody to, to give me nothing. You know, I, I, I've earned everything that, you know, I've accomplished in my life, you know, as far as playing time and, you know, being a starter. You know, I, I think I deserved it. So what you're telling me is you want somebody to beat you to your starting position? Exactly. That's all I ever ask. Just let the guy in front of me or, or the guy that I'm fighting with over the position to beat me out. I don't have a problem with that. So before our conversation ends, I have one more question to ask you. And obviously, you know, what adjustments do I have to make as the general manager of the Knicks to get you on our roster? Because we need somebody like you to join our franchise and become a champion. And obviously, I have to talk to my staff, my management about, you know, picking you up and joining our roster. Um, And I have to talk to your agent about getting you to sign with us. But yeah, as the GM, what adjustments do I have to make on our roster to get you to join the New York Knicks? None at all. None at all. Give me an assignment. Tell me what you want me to do out on the basketball court to help us win and that's what I can do. Allen Iverson is returning to the NBA. Former superstar Allen Iverson announcing He's coming out of retirement and lacing up the sneakers one more time to help propel the Knicks to a playoff push as they have some major offensive struggles. So if there was any question, I think we have the answer. He's back. <laughs>